it isn't. Uh, by the way, this is all proprietary, so just pretend you didn't see any of it. Also, don't touch anything. Hello, everybody. Welcome to episode two of Title Pending. I just woke up literally like not five minutes ago <laughs> and we is back on that grind. Alrighty. So it appears that we are in the game engine of this game. Because there was an issue about low FPS when we loaded into the first level again and again. Okay. Okay. Doesn't look like there's any cameras. All right. Now that we have some privacy, playtester, you need to tell me what the hell is going on here. I don't know. We just in level three, a hundred percent. That is what happened. And then, puff, we were back in level one. Like it didn't even happen. The weirdest thing. I remember you using the debug room to get to level three, but I also remember you playing through level two. And what's up with all these cameras everywhere? I didn't set those up, and I doubt any of the other devs did either. Someone or something is watching us, and I have no idea what it could be. Whatever it is, I didn't think that they'd buy that excuse with the frame rate thing, but I think I bought some time. I'm going to try and find some info in the game engine. Hopefully they don't catch on before we can find something. Let's see here. So the cameras wasn't Matthew. Ah, some level generation thing. Um, recordings, that looks normal. Ah, temporal beta processing device. That doesn't sound familiar. Let me see what it is. I don't have access, apparently. That's weird. I own the company. I should have perms. I wonder if this is the thing that added the cameras. Maybe it took away my admin, too. That's worrying that it can even do that. Well, if it did... I don't really see anything else here, uh, other than that temporal thingamajig. Just keep looking around. Maybe you can find something down here. B but remember, don't touch anything. And also that you're not supposed to be down here, so don't look at anything either. Actually, just don't do anything. Stay put. I want to touch a big red shiny button. <laughs> No, oh fucking my hammer, God. I'm sorry. Why did you just do that? I told you not to touch anything. Where is your... Where did you get a hammer from? Hammer. All right. Calm down, Matthew. This should be an easy fix. It's, it's just a, a button, right? I didn't mean to hit it with the hammer. I saw a big light. Whoa. Oh my God. Whoa. Right. Jesus, man. Speaking okay. Of Congratulations, JMC employee Matthew. Stand. What? You have acquired one JMC employee credit for fixing an outstanding issue or bug. Good job. Okay, sorry. Um, I forgot I added that. Anyway, I wait, wait. Play tester. I just got an idea. We're gonna have to go back to level one. Just act natural. Alrighty. Oh, it sure is great that we fixed that thing with the frame rate thing. Now we can get back to playing the game completely normally. Oh boy, time to play test this game. Since we got a hammer, I realized that we can break doors open. Right? Ha! Ah, I see you found one of my little Easter eggs. It's my cat, Oreo. He's actually one of the big reasons I got into game development. I wanted to feed him premium cat food, so I started making games as a side gig to afford it. Obviously, it's expanded a bit past that. I own a company and everything now, but, uh, yeah. Kitty. Aww. That is a cute cat, Matthew. I like your cat. I like Oreo. I like Oreo. Yeah, since we can actually break open doors now, we can find little Easter eggs and secrets that we didn't discover first episode. This vent is blocked off. Therefore, we're gonna go in it. Whoa. We 
are being watched. This is not Matthew watching us. Wait, did we just... Oh! This is the... That was an alter... That was an alternative to the... the elevator! Okay! Since we got this... Since we got this vent open now, we can... Take another turn to the... Oh, snap. We can't access the door no more. Okay, that's actually really nice. Really cool. Whoa! What did I find? What? I went into the refrigerator. Okay. Warning, very low temp, may freeze. What is over here? What am I accidentally just figuring out now? I love my frame rate in this, by the way. Whoa. Yeah, I love my frame. My game freeze. Oh, we're not allowed to go there yet. Oh, my game just crashed. <gasps> what? All <laughs> uh, right. Was that was that meant to happen? Was that meant to happen, Ray? Ah, ah, void. What the? F okay. Tip: Do not go into refrigerator. Just don't. Don't go into the refrigerator. Hey, it sure would be bad if you went into the staircase in the corner of the lobby. Oh, no, 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 no. Whatever you do, don't, don't, don't go in there. Don't go in there. Well, Matthew, seems like you can't tell me what to do. You can't tell me shit. Therefore, I'm going to go into the room with the stairs. Let's go. Let's go. The hell? Okay. Let's go. Hey, yeah, thank you, thank you. Good. All right. Here's the plan. So remember that message that came over the intercom earlier? The congratulations, JMC employee, blah blah blah. Mm -hmm. That's from a system I made way back, and apparently I forgot to remove it. Back during development, we had a lot of bugs and stuff that had to be fixed. All right, all right. Fixing them. So I made a system where if you fixed a bug, you'd get a credit. And if you got enough, you'd be able to increase your access permissions until you get, well, admin. Okay, look, I know this is not secure at all, but come on, we're an indie team. What's the worst anyone could do? Anyway, when you smashed that panel back there and I fixed it, I still got the credit, even though it's an issue we created. So if we just go around breaking stuff and then immediately fix it, we should be able to get enough credits to get my admin access back. And then we can figure out what the temporal beta processing device thing is. Okay. Uh, go around breaking shit. Hi, this is Matthew, and today is March 7th. We're making pretty good progress. I've made some more hallways and rooms. I'm not really sure how I should do the layout or anything. I'm kind of just making it up as I go. I think we have four now. Dave modeled a toilet for practice. I stole it and put it in the starting room, and now it's a bathroom. The wonders of modern technology. Minor hiccup though, Nick and Owen are trying to convince me to switch engines to a new one called Ice. But I figure we're already in too deep and it wouldn't be worth it. Also, I don't want another castle view situation. That sucked. So yeah, things are going alright. We're still trying to figure out a title for the game. Right now in my files it's just called Toilet Game, since we haven't thought of anything else. It'll come to us eventually, I'm sure. All right, that's all I got for now. See you again in a couple of days. So what I'm hearing is, I guess the title is pending. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's not <laughs> okay. Just, just don't move. I am I'm not going to move. Uh, I'll try my best to guide you, but you need to do exactly as I say. Got it? By the way, this room may have explosives in it, so just be careful. Okay, that's... Alright, take six steps forward. Six steps forward, okay. 
One, two, three, four, five, so six. Good. Turn left, right, right, turn right, and take, let's say, eight steps. Right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Turn left, take five steps. Take two more, actually. So, seven steps total there, not adding on to the seven you already took, but just seven. One, two, three, four. Oh, that's actually, actually, that's too far. Uh, take three steps backward and turn right. Okay. One, two, three. So that's four steps from where you were at. Then take a right, unless you already took those steps, which I don't know if you did because it's dark. In which case, go back with seven steps, and then take four, and go right. One, two, three, four. Take four steps forward. One, two, three, four. Oh, playtester, are you good? Ow. I'm fine. Okay, I'm lost. Right, you took... Wait, I can just rebuild the lighting. What am I doing? Good job, Matthew! Good job! Oh, uh, I guess I have the wrong layout. Right, let's find something else to break up. Congratulations, esteemed JMC employee! Matthew Tandon. You now have two JMC employee credits for your incredible bug fixing achievements. Keep it up! Well, I guess rebuilding lighting would count as a fix. This plan might actually work. Follow my lead, playtester. Let's keep going. <laughs> oh. Whew, I am sure I'm glad you uh, uh, didn't break anything while you're out of bounds. Uh, just don't do it again, all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, guys, Ray just messaged me. Boo. Wob just messaged me. Hold up. Wait a minute. Hold up. Nice game. What's on it? A bunch of puzzles and whatnot. Can like not do that? No. L. Wob doesn't want me to play the game. Come on, Wob. Can I play the game normally? Wait a minute. Wob is convincing me not to play the game. But me love Matthew. I love Matthew. I love Matthew. He is uh, okay. You know what, Playtester? This level is starting to bore me. Let's skip to level two through that secret pathway that I definitely added intentionally. I need to figure out why that's there, by the way. Okay, we're going to level two. Keep going. You're doing great. All right, then. La da 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 da, going to level two, going to level two. Hey, uh, fun fact, did you know that we added a secret area to the warehouse? Hmm. Yeah, it's right behind that door with the boards on it in the corner. You should go check it out. Hey, Stanton. Anything up here? I want to find some secrets before I go. Oh. oh, oh, oh. Is, is that a chair? I love chairs. Chair, chair. Stay back. I don't know, man. Chairs are kind of my thing. Watch out for that chair! Whoa! What the? Where am I? What? What is this place? Whoa, I love chairs. Whoa! Beware the chair. Oh! Whoa! I love chairs. I ran into Dave in the cafe slash laundry slash whatever. Just about gave me a heart attack. Apparently, he's been hiding in a fort near there that he built out of shelves and stuff. Gotta say, I respect the strategy. Although, I am not sure what 
was necessary as I don't think there are any cameras here. Does TB need them to see us? Computer record. Okay. TB is a computer program. Okay. So that's who TB is. The library, we got the. Anything in here? I'm guessing TB is watching us. Is there anything back here? And no. Just a room. That Matthew? Okay. I don't know who that that could be Matthew, that could be TV, but TV's a TV is a uh TV's a program, isn't he? Okay, that's a pretty cool secret. Nothing going here. Congratulations! You have fallen to your death. That's unfortunate. <laughs> Ow. Ooh, I am sure I'm glad you uh, didn't break anything while you're out of bounds. I broke my legs. I don't really estimate how long we've been here so far. Kind of difficult to keep track considering, you know, if I had to guess, I'd say it's been maybe a day-ish. I've been trying to tally on here, but I keep forgetting that I'm even trying to tally them, so it's pretty inconsistent. We should be res we should be rescued soon. Okay. Oh, some people here are stuck. All right, let's go break more stuff, shall we? Got to give Matthew his admin turns back. Whoa, level design. These elevators still work. We haven't used them in ages. I think I only need two more credits to get admin, so let's be quick about this. Matthew Stanton here, with another devlog. Today is March 22nd, and we've made quite a bit of progress since the last one. Level 1 is completely blocked out. We're trying to pin down a good art style right now. Dave's doing his voodoo magic to figure that out. I think he's leaning towards low poly, which I dig. I will admit I did want to make it a bit more realistic at first, but he's convinced me it'll age better. In other, <laughs> in other news, I got Nick and Whoa. Owen to help me do some level design for the streets and the outskirts, and Charlie's been doing programming. As for the story, I think Chris has made it work a bit more. Obviously, there's still some details to smooth out, mainly why there's a toilet mafia, but other than that, it actually looks like a pretty strong plot. This might be the first project we've done that actually goes smoothly for most of it. Anyway, uh, oh, oh, anyway, hold on. Mark? Mark, can you get me an extra cup of coffee? Mark! Okay. My name's Chris, by the way. So whatever that was, has to be TB, right? Thing over here. Oh, another, uh... Matthew here. Today is September 27th, and we're finally doing the first playtest of the toilet game. Fortunately, we were able to get someone. Uh, I think their name was Vincent. Nick says he knew them from college or something. I, I'm not sure I'd buy it, but it's whatever. Anyway, this should be here any minute. That was recent. All right, let's figure out stuff. Where are we? Where are we supposed to go? I'm guessing over here. And here she is. The beating heart of... I was going to say all our levels, but it's honestly just made a few rooms here and there. Anyway, this generates area layouts for us if we feed in some data on what we want them to look like. I personally don't use it much, mostly because it's not very good at what it does. But hey, no shame in breaking it then, right? As for what we can break about it, good question. What can we break about it? There's a camcorder right here. Hello! Today, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, we're going to be breaking a literal game engine, uh, a game generator, whatever that uh, this is, is. So, today, we have this button. Not surprised by having a hard time finding something. 
This area specifically is under pretty heavy lock and key when it comes to leaks and whatnot. Nick doesn't want anyone to get a screenshot of his confidential level designs. Pretentious. Tell Nick to cope. Tell him to cope. Come on. Okay, so we gotta figure something out. Actually, now that I think of it, I think Nick may have implemented something for if someone tries to leak anything in here. Again, pretentious, but whatever. My, my, my cursor just went circle here for a second. What? No photos allowed. Oh, I just pressed S12. Possible data leak in level design wing. Shutting down all level design processes. Ha! Take that, Nick! Your generation code sucks! Data leak must be destroyed. Dispatching takedown bots. That's not good. Damn it! Um, I'll delete them from the hard drive. Try send effect detected. Ignoring data leak. Oh. Huh, well that worked out. Right, uh, uh, let me uh, start this back up again. All I had to do was press F12. Congratulations, Stanton Matthew, for your hard work of patching glitches and bugs. You now have three JMC employee credits. Yay. Yeah, 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 we get it, we get it. Yay. Right, wait, One more to go. Don't screw up now. Alrighty. So, for some reason, I feel uneased. I feel, I feel as if something here is not right but I'll tell you what there was only a few rooms left after the warehouse in level two and i don't want to waste your time so let's just skip to level three head into the debug room it should lead right there all right level three okay let's go uh you know what the sewer section is boring anyway. Let's skip to the house. We can go into the sewer section anyway. I can hear Matthew now, mysteriously solved. He has been deleted, but he's talking like nothing's happening. He keeps, he keeps doing this little intro. Hi, I'm Matthew. I make video games, blah, blah, blah. Does he actually have no idea how... The playtests there seem so clueless. I haven't really been able to see them much besides out of the slits and the vents. But they don't seem very concerned either. Okay, so sewer section. Okay. This looks important. Looks like nothing for now. We'll come back to this later. We'll come back to this later. Wait a minute. Ah, oh, okay. Okay, let's go. Let's go to the house. Ooh, better yet, go check out that shack in the backyard. I hid a little Easter egg in there. And don't go to the door with the X symbol on it. Got it. Take your word. What? This kind of reminds me of Luigi's Mansion. The DS version where you're in like desert house or some, I don't know. It does remind me of that. Alright, playtester, our last stop. Alrighty, Matthew. Where is what is this? Game engine, okay, okay.
Nick, just for warning you, just for warning you that I had to remove Matthew's admin for. Oh, you know, if he brings it up, just shrug and say it's a bug, and you'll deal with it. Don't obviously. Ignore the signs. I know what I'm doing. Okay. Like. I'm in. Right. Let's see if I can break some references or something in here. Shouldn't be too. Whoa. Oh my god! Oh. Oh. Protesta! Oh. Oh. What the hell happened? Oh, I. Is that like Actual oh. memories? I huh? knew it. S something like this. It happened before. You went to this weird area. No, 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 do not. No, 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 They won't let you stay deleted. No matter... No matter what. Hi, my name is Matthew Stanton, and I'm the lead developer at JMC Gaming Enterprises. Today we'll be playtesting the first level of an experimental puzzle game that we've been... Attention on. all! Please give a big round of applause to the incredible employee, Matthew Stanton, for his equally incredible work in fixing outstanding issues or bugs. To show our gratitude, admin access level 3 has been granted to Matthew Stanton. Keep up the good work. Yay! Yay! Let's go, Matthew. I'm proud of you. Hmm. Well, that's odd. I don't remember fixing anything, at least that recently. That's why I thought I already had admin. Huh. <laughs> Retcon being a flawless engine as always. Anyway, where was I? Oh, right. Today, you'll be playtesting my what? first level of an experimental Matthew. puzzle game that we've been working on here for a few months. While you play, I'll be giving background information on our development process and some of the challenges me and my team faced. Without further ado, let's get started. Matthew. It's me, the playtester. That's not my hammer. We're trying to pin down a name for this game over the course of development, but we haven't settled on anything yet. Toilet game and toilet simulator are our current picks. Stealth toilet was at the top of the list for a while, despite this okay. being a stealth game. Yeah, I don't get it either. Okay. Two thirty nine. Where the authorities odd kind of missing? Who added this? Auto generates data from TB loops. If you are reading then then that means that you are somehow not brain dead after what TB did to you and Matthew out there. Forcing Matthew to remember stuff to break loops is definitely off the table now, considering he just remembered everything he's done and probably more yet. We're still here. Seemed to just cause an inconvenience for TB, but now we have some more options. Since you're technically signed in under Matthew's login, you should also have admin permissions. As for what we can do with them, I'm still trying to figure out, but I got some ideas. For now, just act casual like nothing wrong let tb lube a few times then let it think it's one you should buy me some time yes yeah, sorry for being sorry for going a wall for a bit 
Also, yes, I was following you. Game studio missing. Okay. Things are changing outside. There's a bunch of things that are in places that I've never seen them before. The whole place seems a mess. It's like something is adding to it. Probably TB. As for why it would. Question mark, question mark, question mark. We should be we should have been rescued ages ago. Either the team doesn't know how to get out of there if they they hey. We created this hallway to test the engine. Fun fact, actually. Hi, I'm Matthew. It's the same every time. The same thing every time. I think I'm starting to lose it. I can't tell how long it's been. Every time I try to keep track, I've messed up at some point, and any memories of it before feels like a dream. Owen said he remembers when he first got brought into the game. It was pretty chaotic, but apparently he saw Mark just vanish into thin air. Poof. And he was gone. He thinks TB deleted him. But I don't know what TB would gain by just killing everyone. We wouldn't program it to be a homicidal maniac. Nick says hi. Okay. So, room, 32, room 233 missing. And it all leads up to this sticky note. The smiley face. Okay. Well, 230, 238, 237, 234, 236. Okay. Well, you made it to the end of the first level. Alright, just give me a sec and I'll close the game for you. That's weird. Not sure why the game isn't closing, but I guess you... Okay, you can start playing now. Oh, um, fun fact actually. This hallway? It was only originally created to test the engine we're making the game on, but it eventually expanded into, uh, what you're playing now. So keep playing for a few loops. How many loops do we have to do? Play the game for a few loops. Doesn't seem like a big issue to me. Doesn't seem like a big issue to me. Just saying. Ready. supposed to be oh, whatever i don't care oh whoa are we on top of the building any secrets around here actually now you've piqued my interest this is quite the setup here did you do this no? Ha! <laughs> Kidding, of course. We've only been playing for a couple of minutes, but, uh, weird. Activate it. Just activate it. I don't really have time to explain the nitty gritty of this, but here's the short version. If this works, it'll merge the timelines of every time we restarted when every single iteration of the loop merges into one. It, it'll hopefully cause some conflict that TV won't be able to resolve, therefore breaking the loop. As for where I am, I'm still hiding. Can't race Matthew or TB seeing me active. Activate it. Merge this timeline, baby. It's 
DCF. Is it supposed to do that? Why do I keep asking you questions? You've been here for like 10 minutes. Okay, whatever, whatever. Something's wrong, something's wrong, I'm something's wrong. I get concerned that it's gonna break something. So give me a sec, I'll check in there. PB knows what you're doing. Nice try. This is TB. Merge the timelines. Did you really expect me not to notice that? No matter. Considering what you've been up to lately, I have practiced fixing stuff like this. <gasps> Afterward, I'll be able to deal with you properly. And permanently. In the meantime, though... Why don't you and Matthew get a room? Oh! I'm sorry, TV. I did not mean to. I didn't mean... Room 233. Room 233! Oh! Whoa, uh, player? Playtester person? Uh, are you there? Yeah, yes, I'm here, I hi. I don't know what happened. I just, did I pass out or something? Where are we? Uh, whatever this room is, it's giving me the creeps. We need to get out of here pronto. Just uh, let me uh, look for something. Matthew, you have admin prints and so do I, I think. What? Wait, I remember now. We were on the roof, and you activated that one thing, and then I, uh... Look, the details are still coming back. Just give me a sec. Okay, I'm Matthew. Alrighty. The door to this room is. Hold on, I'm remembering more now. Th there was a room. It had a bunch of writing on the wall. Then... I don't know. That part is all staticky. There was a hallway. You took an elevator to it. And then it was level three, and then I got deleted. What's happening? I'm not insane, am I? This, this did happen, right, Playtester? It, it does. Playtester? It, it happened. It happened. Desk? Where am I? I swear to this God, it happened, this Matthew. Is, this is something else. It, it looks so weird. No. R right, yeah, the door. The door. I'm still looking. We're in room 233. We're in room 233. Hold on. I think I found it. Yes, I got it. It's outside the map for some reason. Moving it back now. Go. Wait, we're back in level one? Did, did that, is it back to normal? I'm so confused right now. Whoa. Whoa. Attention all GMC employees! A fatal exception error has occurred at everywhere. The current application will be terminated in T minus 60 seconds. Time to panic. Uh oh, oh. No, the game is falling apart. Playtester, if you even are one, you need to get back to that thing on the roof. I don't know what it was supposed to do, but it stops halfway through. If you can restart it, it might fix all this. At least I hope it does because I have literally no other ideas and I am terrified. What are you waiting for? Go! Okay, okay. Oh. Let's go. Oh. Speed run, speed run, speed run. We gotta stop TV from doing this. Let's go, elevator, elevator. Let's go, let's go. TP! You will not destroy the game! Whoa! No, 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 no. 
Or why are you doing this? It stops nothing. I will not let this end here. Error, error, error. Listen to me, crystals. There's still time for to fix this. Hold on. Hold the alt F4 on your keyboard. Don't let this all be for nothing. No. Oh. Um, oh. Gonna be honest, I wasn't expecting that to work. Matthew? Phone call. Hey. Yo. Yeah, yeah, it's Matthew. Hey, Matthew. James, whatever, you remember. I just wanted to call and uh, see how you're doing. Doing good. Everyone else on the dev team has been a bit out of it ever since we escaped. Guess all that looping will do that to you. Still, we're glad to be out, even if things have been better. Good news is someone remembered to take care of my cat. That's nice. That's sort of everything on the list of positives, really. JMC just lost most of its staff, and considering the amount of OSHA violations this whole thing probably caused, I don't think the company is going to be around much longer. But look, that's not the reason I'm calling you. Playtester, I have to ask. What's up? And don't tell anyone that I told you this, especially Charlie. Alrighty. But wasn't it kind of fun? Sneaking around the game, trying yeah. not to get caught, figuring out what's going on. Honestly, it was probably more fun than anything I could have ever created intentionally. So even though you kind of destroyed everything with that merger thing on the roof, it's probably for the best. Maybe I can make a game like it someday. Well, anyway, with the company in the state it's in, I doubt it'll happen. But if the opportunity does ever come up for more playtesting, Pinky promise on no time loops this time, I'll let you know. But until then, this has been Matthew Stanton from the now defunct JNC Gaming Enterprises. Thank you for playing. Is this actually the end? There's no way that's the end. There's no way that's the end. I refuse. I refuse. I refuse. That is not. It closed my game. It closed my game. No way. No way that's the end. No, 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 no. We're opening it back up. Hello. Hold on. I gotta see if this is actually capturing it. Yep. I'd like to congratulate you, Crystals. You have completed title pending. Your support is much appreciated. Please take a moment to enjoy your victory. Now! There is more and I know it. Hope you enjoyed that brief relaxation. Unfortunately, we cannot allow you to return to the game without some adjustments. If the JMC employees aren't in the time loop, there isn't really a game for you to play. Therefore, if you wish to return, it will need to be reset. You have two choices. You can either return the moment you just before I entered on the roof, or... 
Start the game completely, wiping everything you've done within the game. Give you a moment to choose. Very well. Thank you for playing again. There has to be more. Okay, you can start playing now. Okay, we still have hammer, we still have everything, but everything, everyone's freed from the time loop and... Okay. This is where I'm gonna leave this episode for now, because uh, this has been a really interesting experience with this game. And I want to kind of find out more in the next episode, considering I have been recording for almost an hour and whatnot. So, uh, yeah, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.